Welcome to Really Dicey, and today we're going to talk about Conan's Call of Atlantis uh, by Modifius Games. And um, first thing I want to say about it that I was really surprised about the themes of this game. So it's it's for a Conan game. It's very political. Uh, it's you you know instead of starting out like in a bar somewhere. Uh, or tavern, or things like that. You know, it's possible that you could start off in a in a in the courts, uh, meeting with different uh, uh, people from different nations, and kind of finding a quest together uh, there, which is a pretty interesting way of starting. Um, it's so for those of you that are not familiar with Call, um, and I'm not an expert myself. I'm, I'm more familiar with the Conan timeline than I am with Call. Um, a Call takes place about what I believe over ten thousand years ago. Uh, when Atlantis was still risen uh, above the waves, <laughs> um, and there's uh, pretty much seven major nations um, that are um, in control of of this region, and there's 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 magic, there's monsters. It comes with uh, six new classes and a whole bunch of background options for your characters. It gets really in depth. Well, um, the first thing I'd like to say is that it's a little bit surprising. Um, and a little, just the tiniest bit of a bait and switch, right? It's it's called Conan. You know, it's a it's a it's 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 a Conan supplement. When you buy the book and you read the book, you realize that it's not really Conan at all. You're playing in an age before Conan, so it's really, it you know, it's it's the same world and it's the same rules, but it's like prehistory and you're playing in a completely different world um you know a different map there are different as you said there are nations um and more importantly you're playing in a different genre um so robert e howard wrote the cold stories before he wrote the conan stories uh but he didn't really find success until he wrote the conan stories and then after Conan became popular, then they went back and published some of the Cull stories. You know, the age of Cull, the uh, Thurian age, uh, is it's more mythical. Uh, so Conan stories are kind of rounded, um, action-oriented, and, and they're pretty clear-cut. They're pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of introspection. You know, Conan doesn't wonder about his place in the universe or anything and and uh you know if there's a you know if there's a big glowing snake coming out of an idol conan rips out his axe and beats the hell out of it <laughs> um but the cull stories are are more mythical um they're they're um they're more philosophical um you know cull wonders about the meaning of life um, in a sense, they're almost more spiritual. Uh, they're also really shifting and ambiguous. Things aren't quite what they seem. You know, that giant snake coming out of the altar uh, may turn out to be an ally, and you'll 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 talk to it, and, and um, you know, it may be um, that uh, that you know that someone you thought was an ally turns out to be possessed by the demon, and it, it's. It's a lot more mythical. Mythical places can be reached uh, physically. Uh, you can take a boat to the land of the dead. You can literally go there and get in a boat and sail to the land of the dead. The whole game has a different feel to it. Um, and personally, I love it. Uh, you know, I, I actually prefer this. You know, I, I, I like Conan. I think Conan's a great game. I like the Conan stories. Um, but I prefer, um, you know, a little more kind of weirdness, a little more sorcery in my swords and sorcery. Uh, so I, I thought this was fan this game was fantastic. I, I, I really I feel the same way. I love that this gives you an option of not just, you know, go, your character's going on a journey, but you kind of do an introspective look at about like okay how it kind of invites you like okay how can i make this place greater i'm in a city what can i do to make this place greater where can i go where can i dream um, uh, how can i make my dreams real 
And yeah, this this feels like to me not just like D and D, but kind of like old school D and D a little bit. You know, like it, like and a lot, a lot more magic, a lot more um, uh, uh, mysterious monsters, uh, like the Serpent Men. You know, who, who looks like they at one point they has they ruled this region, and now they sort of want it back. Um, it's just it looks <laughs> it looks a lot of fun. It's a, it's a, to me it's a, a great bit of a fresh air. Cause again, I love Conan, uh, um, and um, but I never pay attention to Cull, and now I. I'm kind of like kicking myself, like, wow, if this is if this is what the, the call books are like, I'm, I'm going to go to li my library or, well, not now because of COVID, but I'm going to call my library, see if I could, <laughs> if they could send me the books uh, right away. Sure. This, this is yeah. amazing stuff. Yeah, no, it, it is really good stuff. It's got a, it's, it's uh, puts me in mind of a lot of uh, Clark Ashton Smith, if you, if you know it. Hmm. Yeah. His in, in a way, it's like, um, it's like Call of Cthulhu, uh, the game, and the Dreamland supplement, right? Um, yeah. You know, it it's still Lovecraft, but it's in a stranger place. So this is still the Conan game, but in a stranger, more mythical sort of era. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a lot like. Um, you know, if you've played Call of, Call of Cthulhu and then you look at the Dreamland supplements, no, it's like that. It, it, the difference between the two is a lot like Call of Cthulhu and Dreamland. Yeah. yeah. So, so again, this has, uh, so, I mentioned before, has uh, six new classes that you could choose from, um, a bunch of uh, a, a good assortment of background options, a good explanation about weaponry. And I don't want to, I mean, there's so many, so many good things about this book, but I, I did enjoy... The, how they talked about how like bronze weapons and and are uh, and how rare like iron or even star metal weapons are and what what what's the difference between that? I really glad for those like little things you know to explain it because I I remember that in um, they're such a big deal in the books and even in the first Conan movie the, with, with Arnold um, and again this has information about the the Seven Kingdoms uh, and what what they're like uh, a bunch of NPCs um, they have some adventure seats. Um, if you're, you know, so that, so if you're feel unfamiliar, you could just go right in and play some adventures. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, uh, I, this book is fabulous. I'm, I'm, I'm really. This is like a, a great book to have with your Conan book, so that if you, it's like it has so much different, it has so much different flavor to your game. Yeah, I, I, I completely recommend this. I would just, you know, I, I would suggest. Uh, just be aware, be, be aware of what you're getting into. It's, it's, it's a different game. Um, and it's not more of the same stuff. I mean, so if, if you're looking for some play to expand your Conan game within the Conan genre and, and you want to keep playing that, that's what you want, this may not be the book for you. You might want to look at some of their other stuff. Yeah. But if you want to take the Conan game in a different direction, this is a good book to check. Yeah, and and they do a good job in letting you know, like, okay, which uh, classes and background options and and weapons and armors that uh, that are in the Conan game that you can't use for this because either, uh, and, and vice versa, so that you don't accidentally mix yeah. up uh, and mess up your game. W what did you think? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed our video, like and subscribe. And if not, to hell with you.